Now that we're approaching winter, where the days are shorter and the temperatures are colder, have you noticed that your child's behavioral problems have increased? Hello everybody, this is Mark Hutton, and that's what we want to talk about today is winter mood and behavior problems. Research suggests that nearly 5% of children between the ages of 9 and 12 meet criteria for seasonal affective disorder. Similar to episodes of depression, seasonal affective disorder can range from mild to moderate or severe and can consist of a number of different symptoms. Due to the limited amount of research with children and adolescents on the autism spectrum, its exact symptom presentation is unknown at this time. However, professionals suggest that symptoms of seasonal affective disorder in children and adolescents are consistent with traditional episodes of depression and may include changes in mood, for example, irritability and sadness, increased crying, fatigue or loss of energy, increased sleep and difficulty waking in the morning, increased appetite for sweets, difficulty concentrating, and withdrawal from activities that are usually found to be enjoyable. If you are a parent of a child on the autism spectrum and you've noticed a change in his or her mood, you may be wondering, well, how do I determine if my child is truly suffering from seasonal defective disorder, a milder form of the winter blues, or just a situational case of cabin fever? Well, remember that seasonal affective disorder includes a distinct change in mood lasting a number of weeks and correlating with a change in seasons. Also, look for other changes in behavior related to school, attitude, and social functioning. And notice if your child is showing changes in the way he or she eats, sleeps, or dresses. And lastly, keep in mind that seasonal affective disorder consists of a number of symptoms at once and is not related to a particular situational stressor. It's important to remember that some variations in mood triggered by certain situations or events are normal. It's reasonable that having to stay indoors day after day because of the cold and dreary weather can cause temporary irritability or crankiness. But if your child seems to be having more behavior problems through the winter months, and these behavior problems last pretty much the entire winter, and they seem to improve in the spring, then you'll want to take some steps now to intervene. Shorter days seem to be the main trigger for seasonal affective disorder. Reduced sunlight in fall and winter can disrupt your body's internal clock or circadian rhythm. This 24-hour master clock responds to cues in your surroundings, especially light and darkness. During the day, your brain sends signals to other parts of the body to help keep you awake and ready for action. At night, a tiny gland in the brain produces a chemical called melatonin, which helps you sleep. Shortened daylight hours in winter can alter this natural rhythm and can lead to seasonal affective disorder in some children. Researchers first recognized the link between light and seasonal depression back in the early 1980s. These scientists pioneered the use of light therapy, which has since become a standard treatment for seasonal affective disorder. Light therapy is meant to replace the missing daylight hours with an artificial substitute. In light therapy, the child generally sits in front of a light box every morning for 30 minutes or more, depending on the doctor's recommendation. The box shines light much brighter than ordinary indoor lighting. Light therapy is usually considered a first-line treatment for seasonal affective disorder, but it doesn't work for everyone. Studies show that certain antidepressant drugs can be effective in many cases of seasonal affective disorder. The antidepressant Welbutrin has been approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for treating seasonal affective disorder and for preventing winter depression. And doctors sometimes prescribe other antidepressants as well. So if you've noticed a correlation between the winter months and your child's change in mood, and these mood changes have lasted for several weeks or months, definitely talk to a health care provider. Now, it's true that seasonal affective disorder goes away on its own, but that could take five months or more. Five months of every year is a long time to be impaired and suffering. Seasonal affective disorder is generally quite treatable, and the treatment options keep increasing and improving. 